could you just clarify that, please? Yeah, yeah. So in in uh, uh, all of our cells get energy, and mm. most of the energy comes from oxygen. Well, we breathe oxygen. Oxygen serves as an acceptor of electrons in a highly, highly, highly efficient system, uh, producing ATP. ATP is the currency of energy within within the cell. Without ATP, things don't grow, can't live. Okay, so um, and that's through uh, oxidative phosphorylation. As I always tell everybody, you're breathing, I'm breathing, we're breathing because we need the oxygen to keep us focused. Our eyes need energy. You need to hear what I'm saying and understand. I need to look at you and hear what you're saying. All of this requires energy on the part of our nervous system. All right, so um, so it, it, how do you know uh, what I'm saying? Because let's if, we, if you and I just, or if one of us dr drank cyanide right now, uh, we would be dead within within a minute. Uh, and you wouldn't be able to hear, see, or do anything. All energy systems in your body would be shut down completely. Why? You have no energy, all right? No energy means equilibrium. That means death, <laughs> you're right? Okay, well, the interesting thing about a cancer is that a cyanide doesn't kill cancer cells. Cancer cells can live without oxygen. Okay, so they're making energy without oxygen. All cancer cells make energy without oxygen. Warburg clearly showed this. And we validated what Warburg said. We take cyanide and we pour cyanide on cancer cells. They're fine. They don't die from cyanide. You give it to a mouse, the mouse is dead instantly. But the cancer cells from the mouse don't, don't respond to cyanide. You can grow them without oxygen, very, very low oxygen. They're fine. They're growing fine. And, and we see ATP. We measure the light. We know they're making energy in the absence of oxygen. So how do you make energy in the absence of oxygen? And this goes back to ancient fermentation pathways. Fermentation is energy without oxygen. Lactic acid fermentation, succinic acid fermentation. These are the ways cells existed on our planet before oxygen came into the atmosphere 2.5 billion years ago, approximately, right? They were living things then. How did they get energy? There was no oxygen. They fermented energy without oxygen. Cancer cells fall back on these ancient heirloomic pathways and generate energy through these. All of our cells have these fermentation pathways. The issue is, is that these pathways pass off the metabolites to the mitochondria to generate energy very, very efficiently. So when the mitochondria become gradually dysfunctional over time, chronic disruption, the cells transition back as Warburg said, onto these fermentation pathways, and they can live without oxygen. So then you simply ask, okay, they're dry, they're, a, ATP is coming from ancient fermentation pathways. What are the energy? Where do they, so you say, well, what can be fermented? What can generate? What are the fuels that a cell could use to generate energy through fermentation? And Warburg knew one of them was glucose, the sugar glucose. glucose. So glucose is one of the fermentable fuels. You can make lactic acid without oxygen using glucose in a fermentation mechanism. But we have also found another one, amino acid glutamine. That can also be fermented. It's called amino acid fermentation. Warburg did not know about this. We have now documented amino acid fermentation. So the two fuels driving the ancient fermentation pathway are glucose and glutamine. They allow the cancer cell to survive in, in these hypoxic environments, acidic environments, fermenting, okay? So and unless you target those two fuels together, it's going to be hard to kill cancer cells. I mean, sure, you can irradiate and poison somebody to the inch of their life, and then you find that they kill the cancer cells, but you almost kill the person as well. And you have all these adverse effects. People go bald, their gums bleed, they have all kinds of problems. But you're trying to, why should that happen if you're, if you, if these cells can't live without fermentation? Just pull the plug on their fermentation while transitioning the whole body over with fuels that cannot be fermented, like fatty acids and ketone bodies, they cannot be fermented, they're non-fermentable fuels. So the, the, the management of cancer, step one, transition the whole body, lower the blood sugar, elevate ketones in the transition, and then go after the, ferment, the amino acid fermentation strategically with small doses of glutamine targeting drugs. So this is the plan. This will be the plan for managing cancer as soon as people come to realize what I'm saying.